Mondoñedo. It's a back set. Cross court for the kill. Okay. Oh, oh. Boy, for the lady Mondoñedo. So, apat sila. Pascual, Mondoñedo, Go, and Entapa. Ganado, itong si John Rosal sa pagsisimula ng ating na Rosal. Rosal getting two points right away, celebrating the points. So, it's been a very interesting start here. For Perpetual and Benilde, two teams who always seem to bump into each other, especially in very important matches of the NCAA. So the two rookies, Go and Pascual, getting on the board right away para sa CSB Lady Blazers. Quick attack. Umandal trying to get the point, could not finish it, but she wants it back, gets it back, and scores on the running attack. Shaira Umandal. First point for her, Dito sa season 95 ng NCAA. Now serving Zona Rosan. Rosal serves that one out, so the point will go to CSB. Here's the pass. Here's the toss. Oh, look at the approach. Persa. Masyadong malakas yung puwersa. That's something she will have to learn to control as we go along here in Season 95 of the NCAA Volleyball Tournament. Another spike with too much spice on it. CSB has overtaken for Bethel here 6-5. And the thing about the NCAA Women's Volleyball Tournament, it's a single round robin. So a loss could mean the loss of a twice to beat advantage. And that's what happened to Benilde last year. Because St. Benilde was 8-1. and one, But because they lost in five sets to Aranyana University... In their very first match of the elimination round, they still finish the elimination round as the number one seed. But what I'm saying is, depending on how you lose that match, that can spell the difference between having a twice to beat advantage or not. But that's another thing about the NCAA because you only play each other once. It takes time to familiarize yourself with your opponent and the time might not be enough that's the thing which is what happened to the Lady Blazers last year losing to number 4 seeded Perpetual in the final 4 Suiko cross court too strong And CSB will head into this technical timeout on top, 8-7. to seven.
Now here's another adjustment for Coach Maki Carino. He has a new setter, very young Kat Arceliana, wearing jersey number 11. And it's always a challenge as a coach to integrate a new setter to the ball club. And that's what Kat Arceliana will have to learn about here in the NCAA. And here she is, tossing it up to the middle. Kumandal, very aggressive, could not put it down though, but Arseliana will try again. Too strong on that hit para kay Suiko. Another graduating player, Bianca Tripoli, is now in for Perpetual, wearing jersey number one. Tripoli guides that ball back in play. Running attack for Gamit. First point of the season. Para kay Michelle Gamit. So four different Lady Blazers have scored already here in this match as coach Maki Carino calls a timeout. His team is down 11 to 7. Now, one of the things we have to note here for CSB is that it's not it's not Juelai starting as the setter. The rookie Mondoniedo is the one setting for CSB. So we have a battle between two young setters here, Mondoniedo and Arcel Iana. And here's Kat Arcel Iana tipping it to Omandal. Here's Mondoniedo. Tossing it to the back row for Go. Now it's Yanka Tripoli. Gets her first point here in season 95. 12-8 is our tally. Benil still on top, but let's see if that hit by... Yanka Tripoli will energize the Lady Altas. Tripoli pops it up. And Arceliana apologizes for double contact. It is now the biggest lead of the match for the girls in green, the CSB Lady Blazers. 13 to 8 is our tally. Montoniedo, wow, Gamit was still in the air. She was actually on the way down when Montoniedo tossed that ball. Gamit continues to impress us here in the NCAA. Quick attack from the middle. Pascual cross court. Tripoli skipping and spiking. Drop ball. Pascual pops it up. Lim gets that ball to Gamit. Arceliana to Tripoli. And that's another error for Perpetual. Arceliana. 
Coach Maki Carino bringing in the captain, Jenny Gaviola. So the rookie, Kat Arceliana, will take a seat. Gaviola will try to change things up here. Try to turn the fortunes around for these Lady Altas players. Pascual, what a hit by Pascual. Second point of the match for Gail Pascual, the rookie, puts CSB on top, 16 to 8. The action continues here inside the Phil Oil Flying V Center as Yanka Tripoli gets another point for the perpetual Lady Altas. Here's the pass. Mondoniedo tossing it up. Sangalang for Tripoli. Tripoli could not spike that ball properly to the other side over the net. Seventeen to nine, a dominant first set for the CSB Lady Blazers. And look at this. Jump serve by Hentapa. And look at that spike by Pascual. And you wonder why Pablo and Abriam are on the bench. Uh, these rookies are showing that they're very they are very much capable of carrying the offense here for CSB. It's been a showcase of the rookies para kay coach Jerry Yi. Even Micah Go getting on the board. And because of this 10 point lead, coach Maki Carino calls a timeout. The action continues here from inside the Phil Oil Flying V Center. It is 19 to 9. Lady Blazers so far so good in this match, and that is despite not using as of the moment the veterans Jewel Lai, Marites Pablo, and Cla Abrian. It has been a rookie showcase for Coach Jerry Yi. But on the other side, John Rosal has been leading the way for the Lady Alta. She is a veteran. She's playing in her final playing year. So she's making the most out of it. Ball is back in the air. Montoniedo. 
And that's a powerful hit right there by Go. Perpetual able to recover though. Mondoniedo. Too strong on that hit. The down the line attempt by Go. So this is three straight points now for Perpetual trying to creep back into this contest. Mondoniedo. The hit by Pascual does not work. Sangalang tossing it up. The rally continues. It's a toss to the back row. Perpetual's turn to generate some offense. Right into the wall. John Rosal already with six points in the contest. Leading the way for the Lady Altas who are currently on a four to nothing run. Gil Pasquale stops the run. Now serving Michelle Gummy. Gaviola. Combination play. Ends up with a Rosal spike. Tripoli pops it up from the back row. Again, Rosal trying to break through the block. Could not do it. Four touches. Yan ang tawag ng ating referee. Kaya naman ang puntos mapupunta sa Lady Blazers who will serve it up here late in set number one. They are four points away from taking their first set victory of season 95. That's an ace for Michelle Gamit. CSB flexing their rookies here in this first set. Mondoniedo. What a block there by Aldea. But the call is a violation. Four touches on St. Benil, so... Altas will get the point. And the substitution here, Sharina Scott is now in. Sharina and will Scott, serve it up serving. for Perpetual. Outside. Too strong Outside. on that Outside. spike Outside. for Micah Go. Twenty-two to fifteen is our score. Saint Benilde is on top. Oh, service! That's an ace for Scott. Montoniedo. Ventura coming in with a lot of confidence, playing in her final year, gets her first point for season 95, 23 to 16 in favor of the Lady Blazers. And we have still yet to see the likes of Jewel Lai, Avriam, and of course Marites Pablo. Ventura getting involved. Oh, what a hit right there by Micah Go. Set point for the Lady Blazers.
long back set Montoniedo cross court attack for Micah go too strong Dagil the libero one of the uh, remnants from the championship team for CSB is in and Pascual will score a fifth point and close the show for the first set CSB with a dominant first set victory against the Lady Altas despite not fielding in the big guns the rookies